estate agent here in New York City, and I'm here to coach New York. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to organize your move. Now, everybody knows how stressful moving can be, but you can avoid any unnecessary flaws in the moving process if you plan everything ahead of time. So if you like my tips on how to organize your move, then keep on watching. Before starting your move, it's important that you begin your journey about a month ahead. If you're renting, you should notify your landlord one month or in the amount of time that they require you on the lease. Next, you should make a checklist so you don't miss any important parts of the process. That way, you're not stressed and crunched for time at the last minute. If you need a checklist, I provided a few printable PDFs on my website. Go ahead and print them out and stick them on the fridge for easy access. This specific list will show you the basics from one month before, two weeks before, the week of, and the day of of things that you need to get done. First, have a yard sale or sell anything that you don't need on apps like OfferUp or LetGo. This will allow you to have sort of a clean start and pack only the things that you actually use, limiting unnecessary moving time and boxes. Then, you'll want to schedule a moving truck. If you plan on using U-Haul, make sure to ask for any essentials you'll need to provide on the day of when you go to pick up the truck, such as pickup times, required IDs, credit cards, and so on. Next, you'll want to buy boxes or rent bins. There are places like Gorilla Bins that offer you plastic moving boxes instead of cardboard, which is a great way to protect your valuables from being crushed during hauling. They drop them off, you pack your stuff, and then they'll pick them up at the next location. If you don't have anyone helping you, you'll want to hire a moving company. Companies like Moishas offer services from movers, bins, storage to make it a lot less stressful. Right now, they're offering discounts on certain size moves. So all the information that you'll need is in the description box below. You can then begin to pack rarely used items in your house. Using apps like Stylebook and Sortly are helpful in tracking the items that you have before the move. For example, with Sortly, you can take a photo of the item, create barcodes for them, and also print out labels for each moving box. Just scan the barcode on your phone and it'll tell you what's in the box without you having to open and dig through it. I'm going to explain how to use these apps in the next clip. If you'd like to skip ahead, just click on the times list below. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on the app itself. The app looks like this. It is, um, it just has a bunch of clothes on it and it's called Stylebook. So you're going to click on the app. Once you open it, this is going to be your dashboard. Now it's going to have different sections. So you're going to have closet, looks, inspiration, calendar, packing, style stats, etc. I'm only go going to go into a few of them because I don't want to make this uh, video very, very long. So for example, we're going to click on closet here. This is going to be where all of your outfits are in the, um, in the app. Now what you can do is take a photo of the outfit and put it in manually. If you order anything online, you can take a screenshot of it and then add it, upload it that way. So for example, I'm just going to show that my tops, I have, you know, sleeveless sweaters, blouses, there's different types of categories that you can break it down into. All right. So then you're also going to have looks. Now looks is something where if you have an outfit idea that you really want, you can have it saved. So that way you don't lose it later on down the line. So these are day looks, work looks, evening looks, formal works, etc. Et um, you know, you can edit it also, move it around, play with it, save it and so on. All right, and then you're gonna have inspiration. Now, inspiration is just, you know, photos that you find online that you really like, that you can um, upload and use later on down the line. Okay, so after um, looks, we're gonna, or inspiration rather, there's a calendar section. I find this calendar so section completely helpful when it comes to moving because what you can do is plan each outfit that you're going to wear for the day and pack a carry-on so that way you're not confusing the stuff you're gonna wear for the week with the clothes that you actually have to pack. So for example, um, we're gonna do today, um, we'll just add in one of the work, uh, looks for work. So we'll just add that in and it's already in your calendar and it's saved. Now, um, if you go to the packing section, this is gonna be even more helpful for moving, but not just moving, anytime you need to travel or um, do something like that, uh, this will definitely, um, this will definitely help. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your packing list. There's different sections or different places that you wanna go if you're traveling. Uh, you can also make one that says that's for moving. So. Um, if you, this is your clothing section. These are all the outfits that you have lined up. You can add a look. Okay. 
and then add those items into your um, clothing section. Okay, so these are all the outfits that you're gonna take with you. So then, what's great about this is not only uh, can you add it to your packing list, but you can actually see if items are available or unavailable. So this one, you know, was just recently used, um, so it's in the laundry. You can do like items that have been lent out, etc. Okay, you can save that. And then you can also make a printable checklist to make sure that you have everything. So here, you just print, you email it to yourself, you print it out and check up all the items that you have and don't have, or any items that could be missing. Okay, and then these are style stats. So this goes over like how much your total inventory is, um, your cost per wear. Um, it, it's really, really helpful. Okay, so the next app that I wanna talk about is Sortly. Sortly is a really convenient app to use because if you are packing, you can label each box so that way you know which room that it's going to be going in. On top of that, you can collect the total value of inventory that you actually have and for each box and label. You can also create barcodes so that way you know how what items are in each specific box. It's very easy for tracking. So I'm gonna show you how to use the app right now. Right now, um, Sortly's app looks like a big, there's just a big S and it has a red background. You're gonna click on the app and you're gonna be taken to your dashboard. Right here, you're gonna see the total value and the amount of items that you have. Then you can go to, you just click on the value and it's gonna take you to this portion of the dashboard. Here you can um, separate it. You can create your own folders from living room, dining room, bedroom, whatever rooms that you need to create. So here I have um, two items within this specific folder uh, for just for an example, a dining room table and a record player. Now I know that a dining room table isn't gonna fit in the box, but like I said, this is just for an example. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the living room section. There's these little um, three uh, dot side buttons that you're gonna click on. Then it's gonna give you several options to choose from. You can either edit it, move it to a different folder, export it, etc. Right now we're gonna click QR label. So then you're gonna give get the option of label size. We're just gonna go, um, actually we'll just do small for right now. Then you're gonna click next. Now you can separate each folder by symbol so that way you don't get anything confused or if the movers are moving it, they can know right away which room to put, the, put it in. So we're gonna click um, a blue triangle for right now. Then you're gonna click generate label. Once you click this, it's gonna turn it into a PDF format and it's also going to send you an email. Open PDF. Okay, so now that you have the label, it's gonna look like this. Um, you can, like I said, you're going to print it or have it sent to your email. Now, like I said before, once you scan this on your phone, you're going to get a list of items that are actually on the inside that specific box. So that way you're not digging through um, random boxes and then having to repack them. Okay, so also, um, there's, if you click on more, you're going to get a list of options um, you can you know, add tags for each box. So, you know, if you forget the name of a certain item, you can tag it with a bunch of other options to help you search for it uh, a little bit easier. Um, they also have uh, moving checklists as well. Like I mentioned before, there is um, there are uh, free printables on my website. It's all in the description box below. Um, so yeah, I think that's um, about it. Apps are really, really helpful. Um, not just for moving, but they can also be used for other options as well. Currently, Sortly is $4.99, and I believe um, Stylebook is around the same price. Uh, if you want to know the exact pricing, I'm gonna leave that all in the description box below. About two weeks before the move, you're gonna wanna start notifying your utilities, such as gas, electric, water, cable, and internet providers, and jot down any information you're gonna to need to know later. You'll need to change your address as well. This includes your bank, doctors, DMV, monthly memberships you receive, or any online services that you use, such as Amazon and eBay. 
You'll also need to change your address to the Postal Service, which will forward any mail that you might have missed. During this two-week period, you should use up any food in the house before heading to the grocery, so you don't have to carry any unnecessary refrigerator items that might rot during the move. If you have renters or homeowners insurance, it's important to transfer it to your next location. If you don't, companies like Frankel & Company dig through many providers to tailor to your insurance needs, which include homeowners and renters insurance. Also, make sure to confirm moving dates with your realtor or your future landlord. While dates and information have been made previously, lag tends to go awry at times, so it's best to double check everything to make sure it goes smoothly. During the week of the move, you can then start packing and clean the apartment. It's important to pack that carry-on for the week, that way you won't confuse any items that need to be packed later. On the day of the move, you'll want to wake up bright and early to confirm your pickup and moving truck. Do a final cleanup of the apartment, turn off all the lights, and lock the doors. Lastly, make sure to carry cash, tip the drivers, or if you're ordering food from places, that might not take card. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that was not listed in this video that you have questions on, you can contact me at hello at CourtneyCoach.com or you can go to CourtneyCoach.com and click on contact. If you'd like to stay updated on my videos, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to, have any, to be alerted for any notifications on new videos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.